So good evening, everyone. And on behalf, and excuse me, oh, sorry. On behalf of Boston Global Center, I would like to welcome everybody to the second uh, Wednesday Zoom meeting for the month of February. And of course, for uh, our new partners, uh, every time we have a meeting or event with Atomy, we always start with our company motto. So are you ready? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Company motto, go. Thank you, everyone. So I am sure everybody, so you can see on the screen right now, that's our agenda for tonight. And I'm sure everybody is excited to hear about the... All the topics, especially the general commission, we learn and we earn. And um, without further ado, I would like to introduce our soon to be Sharon Rose Master, Israel Kim. Good evening, everyone. How's everyone doing today? Wanda. Everyone's good. Yeah, it's so cold over here. It's 10 degrees. So our class got canceled and, you know, everyone's, you know, don't want to drive in because they don't want to risk their lives. So, yeah, I had a little nice, <laughs> little nice nap today and I feel very happy. So, yeah, it's really good to see all of you today. I'll share my screen. <clears throat> So today's marketing plan is a little different than what we've been doing till now. Um, every time I did network uh, marketing plan, I started from what's, you know, what's so special about Atomy and then what, it, what is the difference between Atomy and other network marketing. We talked about all of these background in the first industrial revolution, but today uh, we want to talk specifically about general commission because if we understand the general commission, we will understand why we are so different than other network marketing. We will understand why it's beneficial for just becoming a consumer with us. Um, and then because of the, what? Um, our points never expire, right? And through um, repetitive purchases that are done by our consumers, and we can just, we can make money just by shopping here. So I have, few slides that I prepared um, that I can share. And after that, I'm gonna use my whiteboard, uh, today's technology with my um, pen, <laughs> with my iPad, and I will draw the significance of our uh, marketing plan. It is the absolutely amazing um, marketing plan that I've ever seen. So absolute CEO, absolute quality product, absolute price, and absolute marketing plan. Everything is absolute, right? So. Without further ado, um, I'm going to begin. <clears throat> okay, first things first. In order to succeed in the business, you need to have an amazing quality product, right? You can have the best quality CEO. You can have best marketing plan, best everything. But if the products are amazing, the company will fail because it is the consumer business and everyone will be shopping online in the future, more so in the future than now. Uh, because of the COVID, we basically fast forwarded five years of our lifespan and uh, the technology will need to catch up to five years because we want to adapt to the change. In the environment, in today's world, if you are not adaptable to the change, you will fail, right? If we keep trying to keep the traditional way of doing the business, we will fail. So the reason why I want to talk about the products first is because, again, you all know I come from supply chain background, and um, I understand the importance of having great quality product. Okay, so look at the products today, and um, it, this is daily necessary products, right? And then our CEO used what's called message products. These are prestigious products. So it's that it's basically you can think think of it as Louis Vuitton purse, right, or Mercedes Benz. Okay, so how many? of us can afford Mercedes-Benz, okay? Not a lot of us can afford Mercedes-Benz, but what if 
Mercedes Benz is being offered at the price of Honda Accord. Now, it seems more affordable, right? So basically, enemy daily necessary products shouldn't have been affordable by normal people like you and I. But because of our message products, strategy, and GSGS, and the way our marketing plan is set up, we are able to afford these high quality products at a very low price. And basically, Atomy is online shopping mall, okay? And I always like to talk about my cell phone to my partners because I, especially when I see my friends playing game on their phone, I go, uh, how much did you make with your phone today? And they're like, what? <laughs> right? They ask you, guess what? I'm making over $2,000 a month right now, 2,500. And guess what? In a few years, I'm, gonna, I'm going to be making 20, 30, $40,000 a month with my phone while you're playing game. Wouldn't you want to find out how I'm making, generating residual income with my phone? So today we have to catch, adapt to the change of this environment. And with your iPad, with your phone, Atomy gives you a free platform, right? What is platform? Costco online shopping mall, as um, eBay, um, Amazon, they're all platform, Instagram, even YouTube, right? They're all platform. Now the, we are moving to the trend where all the platform owners will be accumulating a lot of wealth in this world. Anime CEO has seen, foreseen that 10, 12 years ago and launched what's called platform business about a few years ago, several years ago. And he's saying, hey, here's a free platform you can use on your phone. Take it, right, for free. So now all we have to do is grab it. So instead of shopping wherever we were before, now we just need to change the market to Atomy Mall. And Atomy Mall is something that really excites me and my partners. I talk about Atomy Mall all the time, even if it's not in America, why? Because CEO said there will not be any more purchases that you, you will make without earning point value, right? How many times have we earned points for our purchases? Yes, I do agree that credit card companies sometimes give you one point or two points, right? Okay. However, Atomy gives you such, such generous amount of points that if we can think of all the products we're, gonna, we're going to be purchasing through Atomy and as a mall in America, maybe even having your know, potential to purchase iPhone through as a mall, maybe even cars, everything that we buy, okay? So as we work harder and harder in America and our market value increases in America, we're going to have more products being launched in America. So yes, I talked about this, right? Absolute quality and absolute price. This will bring customers to you. So um, my sponsors you know, told me before, it is sometimes, you know, normally it's not good to you know, force people to use products, but hey, if you can, you know, $9 foam cleanser, just say, hey, here it is, try it, let me know. If you don't like it, just give it back to me, I'll use it, right? So, you, you know, I have that much confidence that once people use our product, they will be very um, interested. What is this? It's something so different than what I have used before. So I purposely don't tell them how much my foam cleanser is or my toothbrush is. I just give it to them and say, hey, use it, okay? And then they use it and they come back to me and say, Hey, I like your toothbrush. I like your toothpaste, but uh, I, I'm kind of curious how much it is. And when I tell them the price, guess what? They're amazed. Why? It is so affordable. And now they are interested. How can company generate this at a, such an affordable price? And with general commission, the most important thing is this, voluntary consumer reordering, okay? Why is that important? It's because none of us here Want to, want to continue to sell the rest of our lives, right? One of the positions in this world right now that's, that's kind of looked down upon is salesmen, okay? Because why? There's an impression that we're trying to convince people to buy something that they don't need every day. But these are stuff that they need every day. And if they're voluntarily reordering without us having to share I and mean, tell them to order every time, that's amazing. So through the online platform that's been given to us for free, and because consumers, when they 
use it for the first time and they really fall in love. And my partner, one of my partners, Khan, she's been, she sent me her vision statement today. And then she's been suffering through inflammation and she had sharp pain traveling through her back all her life, like I'm not her, like, like six years of her life. That's so painful, but she met him on him and she's so, um, she's so um, happy and thankful that um, this had come to her. So she will reorder. Guess what? Through the reorders, what happens is residual income. And I'm so happy that I don't take commission from my consumer's purchases. I make zero dollars every time they order, but guess what? We receive points. That's why when people say, oh, Atomy is so hard to make money. Yeah, it's because you're trying to sell because obviously we don't take commission of ourselves, right? So we need to create consumer base that reorders, continue to reorder. And guess what else they do? They share with their friends. So how is that Atomy different? No joining fee, no annual fee, and no website fee. There are many companies. They say, hey, this is platform. We spent money investing in this in the website. So you have to pay your fair share. Pay us $20 a month. What else did they make you pay is joining fee and um, auto ship and everything, right? We all know this. And another important thing when we talk about general commission is no point resets, no level limits, no time limit, and yes, global. Okay, this is something that you really need to be reminded every day. No point resets means even consumers can get cash back of $60. Okay, you know how it works, right? So let's say you have a line that's building one of the legs and obviously every, this is binary system we're gonna talk about. And this line keeps growing, growing, growing. And somebody said, I'm just gonna be a consumer. I don't wanna do this business. It's okay, thank you very much for you know, shopping with us. And is there anything I can help you with? But let's say this person has reached 300,000, okay? Obviously their left leg, because this leg is keep growing with your partners, is going to have over 300,000 points. So are you gonna leave that person to keep ordering with their own ID and let it become 300,000, 500,000, 700,000, 1 million points? Or are you going to say, hey, you already reached an agent, congratulations. Why don't you register just somebody on the right side and order through that person's ID. And guess what? You can also receive $60. It's either take it or leave it. And they go, well, but I didn't register anybody till now. How am, am I going to make money? And that's where the education comes in. Even if, it's, they're, even if they're just consumers, you still, still need to follow up, right? And follow through. Follow up, how is your products? How do you like it? And follow through. Hey, you you're an agent now. Just register someone. It doesn't matter who it is, your kid, your mom, whoever it is. I'm not asking you to do the business, but just register someone and register, order through that person. I just don't want you to miss out on any of the cash back you can earn. Now, are you selling anything or are you trying to help your consumer? So as soon as you're, um, friend, whoever it is, see the benefit and you're trying to benefit them, they're going to think differently. Instead of them thinking that you're trying to sell something, they're gonna think that, oh, maybe this person really wants to help me. So let's say this person registers a person and that point, you know, of course that this person's gonna order through that ID and they're going to receive $60 check and they don't even know when they receive it. And you as a sponsor, you say, oh my gosh, congratulations you are going to receive $60 check. You just flushed 300,000, 300,000. They go, no, what do you mean? I didn't do anything. <laughs> hey, you just fill out your 1099, get your cash back. And they're like, this is amazing. Why am I getting $60 back? No one ever paid me before. And you're gonna be like, I told you already. <laughs> they don't remember anything that you tell them, right? Because they're not interested at the time. But when they actually see the tangible result, to $60, they're going to be very interested. And they go, they start thinking, okay, if I register one more person and they, they start buying and I keep shopping there, does that mean I'm going to receive $60 more frequently? And you go, yes, <laughs> right? And that's how they become your business partner. People think that somebody's gonna just pop out out of nowhere and say, I wanna do enemy. No, they're not going to do that, right? 
they all start from consumer. They love the products and we create what's called gold consumer. To make them become a gold consumer, it takes a lot of effort from you. Like I'm, not, I'm gonna use an example of Khan again, one of my you know good partners of mine. She was only using toothbrush and toothpaste for many years because you know no one told her about you know other products that we had. And when she finally understood what Hemo Him was, she was amazed and she started using it. And guess what? She's she, and she's consulted with me. Uh, she became part of my team. She's like, what else is there? And then I said skincare. She said, oh, but I have thousand dollars worth of skincare that I got gifted from my other friend. I said, well, your body needs some love too. Put it on your elbow and your, you know, chest and your like your butt, everything, right? That's what CEO says, and that's what she did. And then guess what? Now she was able to introduce this to other people, right? So she became a gold consumer. Now she's a consumer that uses all our products. She's switching everything from other stores to Atomy. My, my, another partner of mine, Sarah, she told me today, I have a restaurant. I, I'm gonna exchange all the hand soap. I'm going to exchange to dish detergent. Everything's gonna be Atomy. So now she became the gold consumer first. Well, she already had a business mindset, but then now she's gonna do the business more because now she can make more introduction. And again, our general commission is very extremely important to understand because it's not top heavy compared to other network marketing companies. We, our compensation is very, very um, emphasized towards people at the bottom, okay? Because of what's called income ceiling. And I'm going to dig a little bit deeper on how the compensation worked as such, okay? All the surpluses are going to be fed to the bottom. And $1,200 a day is the maximum as a general commission a day, okay? Six days a week, right? This, we are a Christian company. Uh, we don't pay out on Sundays, okay? We all need to rest a little bit, right? As well as company. But again, um, $1,200 a day, six days a week as a general commission is a maximum amount. But company makes a lot of money. We keep growing over it uh, bigger and bigger, right? We went from $1 billion company to almost, you know, we are all around 1.7 in 2020, and we're projecting to be a $3 billion company, okay? So what happened to all the surpluses that, you know, over that $1,200 general commission, it all comes down to us. So compensation system with Atomy. And I'm going to show you another graph. So, okay, so you reached the top, right? Now you're earning $1,200 a day. So now you went over, guess what? The surplus commission, does company keep it? No, they give it to us, right? People at the bottom. So the commission pool will continue to get bigger and bigger because our company continue to get bigger. So the surplus commission gets bigger and bigger too. And that all the surplus comes down. It doesn't go away. It doesn't go to the company. It comes down to help our um, end value, okay? Which I will explain. So the bigger the pool becomes after the surplus, it comes down to pay all of us. So somebody can make $60 a day while some people make $1,200 a day, but that is a maximum they can earn as a general commission. But guess what? Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about auto commission. Uh, I mean, auto sales master is so extremely important. But once you become auto sales master, you're earning about two to $4,000 a month. And the CEO say, says that once you reach a sales master, you have a letter to climb up to the imperial master, okay? And climbing up the ladder, it's not that hard. You know, you just kind of take one step at a time, but you're working with your partners, right? And you will reach the top. So just put a lot of effort, get to the auto sales master, get sooner than later. And from auto sales master, take five to 10 years of teamwork to reach the very, very top you can become and auto imperial master is the goal and that's what um royal master jason ship told us last time his goal is to become auto imperial master and we all should try, strive that to that so okay so here's a little breakdown of our general commission okay so we have a pv right it's 44 percent of the point value from the company but if we this is a little confusing to some new people but if we look at the total just revenue as a whole, let's say, for example, in 2019, our company did $1 billion. 
okay? They paid out 35% of the revenue, which is $1 billion. How much is 35%? It's $350 million reserved to pay us, okay? Not spending anywhere else because Korean Network Marketing Committee only allows up to 35% by law. They cannot pay more than that, okay? That's why Atomy is kept at 35%. And that is what they're going to pay us, 35%. But out of the 35%, if we look at the general, um, if we look at the breakdown, which one has the biggest um, commission? It's general commission, right? Okay. The reason why we have more emphasis on general commission than mastership bonus is because of this. Okay. For a guy like, me okay i'm very talkative okay and let's say mr israel kim goes around he can talk all day long and he's a great salesman and he can recruit all the people if the company is more of a mastership bonus i will take more money than people that are kind of a little bit quieter and you know can't really share very well and make mistakes you know along the way a little bit somewhat more introvert because general commission is done by the binary system, and if that if you understand the binary system that's unlimited perfectly, let's say you have you maybe you're not the one that can speak very well, but if someone under you that signs up can speak very well, you will receive 100% of the benefit from that person, right? So you may not be the best person when it comes to you know, speaking marketing plan, product introduction, you know, maybe you're new to the, you know, to United States, you can, maybe you cannot speak English very well, but you find that person that speaks English very well and then can use the technology and post on social media and all that, you reap 100% of the benefit. So because general commission is so, so much bigger than master bonus, people like me don't take, or somebody that can speak very well, like a car salesman per se, uh, if the mastership bonus, bonus was bigger, they will take all the money, okay? But CEO was very righteous in, to make it as fair as possible. He said, I'm going to put more percentage to the general commission so that even if someone who lives in America, who immigrated to America and starting a new life with a family and wants to transform their life and have a equal opportunity, general commission is 22% or 44% of the PD, this person can also have a good, a fair chance to become successful. Okay, that's what it means to have bigger general commission. Because bonus, if you think about it, bonus is something when you like perform exceptionally, right? So, if the mastership bonus was, was bigger, then if you don't perform very well every month, then it's going to be less. But then, because general commission through the binary system, unlimited global, is there, now everyone has a fair shot. And I'm going to explain a little bit more about end value. And I have about five more minutes, okay? So end value is what makes general commission amazing, okay? So do, do you see 22% there, okay? What, is, what does that mean is 22% is 22% of the whole revenue of the Atomy. For example, if Atomy did $1 billion, there will be $220 million, right? Okay, if $1 billion, 22% of that is $220 million. So total daily sales volume times 22%, divide by total daily points because every point, every purchase you make, you get points. So end value is normally $4, okay? And then it was, it goes up and down a little bit, but it's around $4. So when you look at your general commission, do you see 15 points or sometimes you see 30 points, right? You multiply that by four, that means points. So if you have 15 points, multiply that by four, what does that mean? you got $60, right? So that's why sometimes you get $59, sometimes you get $61, 15, 59, 61, because of the end value changes every day, because the daily sales volume changes little by little every day, but it is almost perfected to the point where we, you can retain and you can sustain almost rest of our lives. That's why we're going to be a hundred year global company. And here's how the um, global network with binary system works. So it's a global member, right? Global ID, you can um, have anyone from around the world can join this company. 
And that is amazing. So we hear this over and over and you're like, yeah, we can join people from another company. But do you think that was easy for the company to create? But once you understand the benefit that you have to be able to join people from another country, it's amazing. UK is launching. So if you know anyone from UK, register them. And the potential is so unlimited. If it was just within the United States, yes, you can still become successful. But the amount of the potential now you have because of the global ID binary system is just fabulous. So general commission works like, like this, right? So you have a left group and you have a right group. So whoever is registered to the left group and who, even if you didn't sign up that person, because let's say you signed up person A from Colombia, but that person A signed up people from Mexico. So you didn't sign up that person, right? But even if that person makes a purchase, you will receive 100% of the benefit of that person. And so other points will be accumulated to the left side first, right? And then you have your right group as well. And then that points become accumulated. So as soon as you reach that, the as soon as the lesser leg becomes 300,000 PVs, you receive uh, $15, okay? And I'm going to end with this. And, you know, I can talk, you know, forever with the you know, general commission and everything. And I hope I'm not confusing everyone, okay? I hope you find it helpful, but I want you to understand this, okay? The end value, if anyone has a question on end value, please, you know, feel free to ask me. But this is why this, our compensation plan, especially general commission and mastership bonus too, but general commission is so righteous. Okay, the first commission is 15, 15 points. I mean, there's five points, but then normally we start as of, uh, 15 points. So if you match 300,000, 300,000, you get $60, right? Okay, so what about the people at the top? They're receiving $1,200 a day, right, as a max. So they have to reach 50 million and 50 million points to receive $1,200. Let me ask you this. I know many of you go, oh my gosh, my one side is 340,000 points. Oh my gosh, I'm 40,000 points over, jeez. I have to hurry up and match my other side to make it 300,000. Oh my God, I'm gonna call a sponsor. Why is this company like this? Why am I wasting 40,000 points? Who, where is this going to, right? Have you asked that question to your sponsor? Jeez, let me tell you this. What about people at the bottom? Do you think they match exactly 50 million, 50 million? No, they're probably matching 80 million to 50 million, okay? So they just, according to you, they wasted 30 million PVs, okay? Where, do, where does that 30 million PV go? It goes to the jar, right? It goes to the jar. Every PV that happened that one day, it goes here, okay? And then they mix it up like this and they, okay, those people that received 300,000, 300,000, here is your 15 points, here's your $60, okay? So, you as 300, you only wasted, you know, per your statement, 40,000 PVs here, while people at the top just spent extra 30 million points here, okay? So don't think that you wasted. Be thankful for the compensation plan you have here, okay? This system is so set up righteously, righteousnessly, I don't know if that's the word, um, that anyone can become successful. And last thing I want to tell you is this, from 300,000 to 50 million, it is a multiple of 166 times. So 300,000 times 166. So that means you have to go from 300,000, you have to work 166 times more, right? Harder to earn 50 million. So the compensation plan should be $60 times 166 times, right? 20, it should have been 60 times 166. That would only be fair for the people at the top, but they're only multiplying their income by 20 times. That becomes 1200, okay? If you understand this, this is a very, very righteous compensation plan and it's catered to people at the bottom. All right, thank you very much. Today was a general commission. Next week, I'm going to talk about more of a 
Master Shiponas. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Soon to be Sharon Rose Master. Easy. Um, so much to take. Um, the first that really uh, hit me was the Azamol. I'm looking forward to that Azamol. And I saw my brand, Samsung. Can you imagine I'm buying in the future my Samsung phone and I'll get points for that? I don't know whoever is not excited. Okay, and then uh, if you really paid attention, um, you would have seen that as Israel said, and I've heard a lot of our leaders are always talking about righteous compensation. So people at the bottom who have the hardest, you know, when you start, you have the hardest uh, part of it. So we get more of the pie. So that should encourage you and motivate you that the company is very just and very fair. Okay, so moving on, uh, it's 8.34. So we are very fortunate to have our uh, partner, soon to be Sharon Rose Master. She's a nurse by profession and she really explains our uh, products uh, very well. So let us welcome our partner from Boston, Lynn Widenroth. So thank you, Christine. Ahead, I, I, hope, I hope you're a prophetess because uh, if I'm a future Sharon Rosemaster, I haven't even made. Oh my master. goodness! That's, that's why. Awesome. That's why Easy is giggling. <laughs> that's why he's laughing. Yes. Yes. Hey, you know, whatever you say will come true. You know, Lynn. There you go. You will be there. Yeah, so lonely. <laughs> you 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 copy us. Sharon Rosemaster just directly. No, you know, you're not gonna stop oh, at a time. Oh, oh. <laughs> That's right. I'm going to skip right over sales. What's going on? And if that happens, we can all go Chris to Christina for the lottery numbers for next year. You're right. <laughs> so, oh, uh, welcome everybody to our Wednesday yes. evening meeting. I'm just really glad that you're all here. And I thought for a change tonight, we would go ahead and instead of focusing on women's skincare, we would take a dive into our OM line. Um, I was very tickled when I saw that Atomy named its men's line Om because Om is the French word for man. So I started to take a look at this and I thought it might be interesting because I'm sure some people wonder why do we need different skincare for men? Why can't they just use the skincare that the women use? Well, there are some very real differences to our skin, both men and women. And a lot of it is because of the way that we've been designed and because of our hormonal structure and what testosterone does to men's skin and what estrogen does to women's skin. So one of the differences is that men's skin is 25% thicker than women's skin. So if you ever really looked at a man's skin, uh, either on their face or their arms, it, it really does have an appearance where it, it's a, a thicker skin. That's due to the testosterone. The texture is tougher and men's skin, not yet, not yet, not yet. <laughs> men's skin is oilier than women's skin, even though their sebaceous glands that produce the oil is smaller than a woman's sebaceous gland. So that's why with men, if they have an acne breakout, it takes them longer to resolve that than it does for a woman. So our acne line would be very, very good. I've got a, a, a 13 year old grandson who is using our acne line now. And my daughter says his skin is beautiful since he started using it. Now, you know, men tend to get some of the benefits of things and we'll have a talk with Eve about that someday when we get to heaven but men have a higher collagen density than women. So it's been said that a woman's skin presents as 15 years older than a man her age. So my skin will look 15 years older than my husband's skin, even though we're the same age, because he's naturally got more collagen in his than I have in mine. That's one of the differences. Mm. Um, because skin is thicker in men, women's skin is more vulnerable to sun damage. 
than men's are. And that's another reason why uh, women's skin tends to age quicker because the sun damage will give you discolorations. It'll certainly give you the wrinkles um, and, and those types of signs of aging. Now, believe it or not, the skin on a man's face is more delicate than a woman's. Hmm. That took me by surprise. Really? Why are the reasons for that? Well, historically, men don't take care of their skin. Um, I'm finding that the younger generation, Izzy's generation, and um, right around my son's ages, they're more interested in skin care than, say, a lot of the guys I grew up with. They wouldn't have dreamed of putting a cream on their face. Men's skin, they tend to hold jobs where they're out in the elements more often. So, you know, they're, they're roofers. They're exposed to that extreme heat and the sun beating down on them. They're working on tension wires. Yes, some women are doing those jobs too, but you can really see it on a man's face when they do those kinds of jobs. I remember when I worked in, when we lived in North Dakota for a while in Grand Forks, the farmers, I've never seen such deep creases in people's skin than the farmers. And it's because they're out in that sunshine all the time, tending to their crops and they're not putting anything on it to protect it. Now men have to shave every day. So when they shave, they remove what we call a hydrolipic film that naturally covers our skin. And that's a, an emulsion made of water and oil. So now we can advance, um, Osuk, if you don't mind. So with the, um, the Ohm Energizing All-in-One, we have four different items in here, a toner, an essence, an emulsion, and a cream, okay? But I went ahead and, and bought a couple, and I have it right here. This is the three-in-one. And I remember using a, a product from a French line that was similar to this for women's skin, and it was $120 a bottle. And I think ours is, what, 24 <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah. Um, but what, what we've done here is half of the bottle is a water-based substance. It's blue. And half of the bottle is a cream substance. It's white. So when you squirt it out, I want to make sure you can see this. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. You've got the blue gel and you've got the white cream. So when you mix it, you make an emulsion that's got both the water components and the oil components, which we naturally have on our skin. And men strip that off when they shave. So this is to help replenish that. And it's also um, a formulation, you know, when you really study our skincare and Comar and, and everything that they um, put into the technology Men have smaller sebaceous glands than women. So they're going to need components that have a smaller size to get into the skin than women do. So this is, I put it on this morning and I don't have any, any foundation or any makeup on right now, but I wanted to try it for myself to see because this says it's not sticky. So I wanted to know for myself and it's not. It goes right into the skin and my skin stayed moist all day long, just like with the women's skincare. So I've kind of decided that if I ever have to go on a trip and I don't have room to bring my entire set and all the creams that I do use for a few days, I would use this twice a day and it would cover all the bases. Could we go to the next one, Osuk? So like I was talking about the blue gel and the white cream, okay, and the, um, the blue gel has components in it that are water-based and the white cream has um, hydrogenated coconut oil in it, which is one of the best natural moisturizers out there. And so it's, it's been put into the white cream base to help replenish the moisture on a man's skin, which needs to be in a different composition than a woman's skin. If we can scroll down more. I researched some of these ingredients. Not yet, not yet. Not yet. Okay. Okay, yeah, there we go. So you can see that there are ingredients in the blue gel and the white cream. And when you take a look at those, the majority of those words are plants and herbs. 
and things that are really good for the skin and good for inflammation. So this, our product information on our website, which is where this comes from, will we'll, um, highlight six herbs in a little bit, but there's much more than six herbs in this preparation. So the blue gel has its herbs, the white cream has its herbs, and some of, um, some of the blue and some of the white have both of the same herbs, but they're herbs that all have wonderful, wonderful um, uh, ways of working on our skin, okay? So the features of these, these dual blue and white product is that you do get very fast hydration replenishment. I mean, this went right into my skin. I'm not sticky at all. And it nourishes the skin after shaving. So um, one thing we have to remember is when men shave, especially with a disposable razor or a straight edge, or when women shave their legs even with one of those, you don't realize it, but you are leaving little nicks and little cuts all along your skin as you do that. You're causing trauma to the surface of the skin. And whenever you've got trauma, like I've mentioned in other presentations, when, if you open up that skin barrier, there's a way for bacteria to get in there. So we'll talk about why some of these ingredients work against that in just a little bit, but that's one thing to remember. It helps to improve a dull skin tone. So we have some brightening agents in this line that we have in our lines in the Absolute Skin Care to help brighten the skin and, and just um, make it glow. There's wrinkle care in here. And the finish is just, I think it's just what a guy would like. They don't wanna know that they've got anything on their face. Am I right, Israel? You don't wanna walk around knowing you're like, oh, that guy's wearing something on his face. No, you want it to just right. soak in and be one. Right, okay. Exactly. So I just love how, how um, Komar has formulated this to be able to blend these two ingredients, water and oil together to make the absolute perfect skincare serum um, emulsion that gives a guy's skin everything that they need. So here we could see a little bit of some graphs and um, you know, our website is really excellent. And I've noticed even since I've started and started doing presentation, they've even beefed up some descriptions and given even more detail about how our products work. And if you can learn about that, this can really sell people on our products. They want to know that there's science behind here. They want to know that there's technology behind here. So go ahead and take a look at these things. And you don't have to remember the big words, but you can just try to remember that this stuff gets deep into the skin. It's been formulated to be able to go deep and to, to uh, nourish the skin way at its base where we've got the brand new cells forming that eventually flow to the top. Now, because men shave every day, they get rid of their dead skin cells by doing that in the areas that they shave. Women don't, so that's why we have our peeling gel. That's why we have our peeling mask that when we first put it on, sucks the bad stuff out to let the new stuff go in. Um, our, our company knows that it needs to get these nutrients down to those, those baby cells that are brand new and to help them float up to the top faster and turn over faster. And men need that, even though they're, they're removing that top layer, they're damaging the, the surface of their skin and this helps to heal it as they go along. So these are just six of the herbs in our product. And I had started researching even more um, of them. I know that the number one herb in the, the blue gel is something called China berry. And that's a plant that's very popular throughout India. And it's a high antioxidant to help um, neutralize what we call free radicals, the things that cause aging and um, cell death in our bodies. But these six here are gonna be something that we're gonna take a look at more specifically. So the Centella Asiatica, um, we have that in our women's skincare line. This is also known as Go2Cola. G-O-T-U-K-O-L-A. 
And this is used for scars and stretch marks to help re uh, reduce the appearances of those. Um, in Chinese and Ayurvedic medicine, they use Centella Asiatica on burns to help heal the skin. And they take it internally to help increase circulation. So it's really important that we have good circulation that comes to the top of our skin too. So if applying it on the top helps to bring the blood supply to the surface to help heal any damage, that's a good thing. It decreases inflammation and it increases collagen production. So like I said, men have more collagen than women, but as they age, they start to lose it too. And I'm glad that we have this in our women's skincare products to help us build our collagen. The next plant there is the Hutuyemia cordata. And I, I guess these are all Latin for these words, but this is also known as fish mint, fish, F-I-S-H, mint. And that's an anti-inflammatory and an anti antioxidant um, to help uh, to help bring inflammation down and to help repair damaged cells. And right now that's being studied by the National Institutes of Health. So I was able to read that they're confirming that at the National Institutes of Health in Washington that's doing all the, our, the testing on the hemohem too. So I was glad to see that, that there's um, actually uh, uh, some Western medicine that is certifying the results that the uh, Eastern medicine already knows. Then we've got fennel and you can buy fennel in the supermarket. It's a plant in the carrot, celery and parsley family. It's full of antioxidants, but the thing about fennel, there's a couple of things specific to fennel. It's an antimicrobial. So fennel can help kill bacteria on the surface of the skin. So it's really important that it's in men's skincare because again, as they shave and they're tearing their skin with that, they've got the fennel. If they put this on right afterwards, the fennel is going to help make sure they don't get a skin infection or they don't get um, an inflamed pore or, um, you know, what we call razor burn. That could lead to something more important, uh, potent or some men struggle with the hairs on their face growing inward to their to their beards. Um, and that can get to be very painful, too. So fennel can help with that. And fennel also increases the production of collagen and elastin. Now, something that fennel does as well, that we have a different ingredient in the absolute um, uh, spot out cream and spot out essence. We have natural ingredients that block the melanin in our skin, melanin in our skin from being activated by the sun and producing what we call a sunspot or a brown spot on your skin. All those spots that are, are um, what we call sun damage. Fennel is what's put into the men's product to help prevent that. So that's a really good thing because a lot of men don't wear sunscreen um, and this will help reverse any damage that um, or prevent any damage from the sun. Then we come along to basil which a lot of us put in our Italian cooking. I don't know if it's used in the, um, in the uh, Korean dishes. I can't wait to try some of those. But um, I read a study where scientists applied basil extract to laboratory models of the skin. And the results suggested that putting basil in skin creams might improve skin hydration, reduce roughness and wrinkling. So we said already that a man's skin is rougher than a woman's skin. So this might help tone down some of that roughness. They'll still look like a man, but their skin will just have a, a smoother texture. Then we've got the marshmallow plant or Alethea root extract is how it's labeled. Now, um, what they extract from the marshmallow plant is the sap the, the plant makes a sticky sap and that's what they used to put in natural marshmallows. Now they've, they're using gelatin and sugar and all of that, but they actually used to use the sap in, in marshmallows a long time ago. And what this does is it helps protect the skin from irritations. So again, think shaving. It helps to heal sun damaged skin and it helps with eczema and wounds in wound healing. 
So I have found that um, Atomy really uses some cutting edge things that are being used in medicine in burn units or to heal wounds. Our seven solutions mask is a perfect example of that. And so having this marshmallow in there might help to heal up any uh, wounds on the skin um, as well as protect the skin from more. And then we've got this chamomile. And who hasn't heard of chamomile, right? There's Roman chamomile, there's German chamomile. And Atomy uses uh, the Roman chamomile. And chamomile is very soothing. Um, I know that if, if you wake up or you have um, puffiness under your eyes, taking a, a tea bag, a chamomile tea bag, and steeping that and then putting it on your eyes and just laying down for 15, 20 minutes will help bring the swelling down and it's very soothing to the eyes. Um, this chamomile is in the skincare. It's soothing, it's anti-inflammatory, it's um, a moisturizer and it also helps to repair the skin. So these are just six of the herbs and we've got many others that are in this, this skin um, preparation for men. But just imagine sourcing all of these and then remember our herbs come in fresh and they go right into production. They're not dehydrated and dried or left somewhere and then used once it's gotten older. Some of our skincare is fermented and that calls for drying of herbs. And that's great because fermentation is another wonderful, wonderful way to treat the skin. But these are used fresh and that, so we get the full potency of those herbs. So we've got wrinkle and brightening care with the dual function of the, the, the white cream and then the blue gel and it will deliver visibly firmer and brighter skin. And our ingredients are eco-friendly um, as far as the environment goes. And uh, for EWG, I looked up many of our, um, many of the chemical ingredients, the preservatives in here, the emollients. Let's face it, you need some chemicals to make cosmetics because you need to get this stuff to blend together you need to make sure it's not going to grow mold as it sits in a jar and we don't use parabens. So the things that we do use, I looked them up on the EWG website and they're all safe, not only for the environment, but for us. And the fragrance um, is more of um, the musky amber type fragrance. Um, I don't think men would have a problem with this at all, but yet I didn't have a problem putting it on my skin. It's not like it's a fragrance that lingers, but yet it's not an overly feminine white flower type fragrance like some, some of our um, other skincare lines seem to have. So that's it on Om Energizing All in One. So I think it would make a great Valentine's Day gift ladies for your men. Um, and tell them that you just want to, for you, you just want to take a before and after picture and try it on them. And maybe that'll help with the business growing. And then they'll have, you know, whatever money you make, you share with them, right? So I just think this is a, a wonderful product. Again, I haven't found a product yet that um, is disappointing. So thank you very much for allowing me to present about products tonight. And uh, if you have any questions, we'll try to answer them. So we're taking questions right now. Oh, uh, I just want to like introduce our great leader right sure. now. And then after, you know, this is over, then if anybody uh, may uh, like uh, stay and then ask him. Okay, so I want him to say something because he is visiting us. Okay, you mm -hmm. go ahead, Christina. Yeah, we are graced with our presence of our uh, leader, as Ushok said. Uh, royal master, I have to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> Soon to be crown master. master. <laughs> we call Sir Jason Sham. <laughs> Welcome. Well, um, thanks for uh, inviting me to speak. Uh, actually, I was just told that like uh, uh, I will go, but I didn't see the invitation until like 10 minutes ago before you start, 10, 10 minutes before you start. And then I saw, you know what? I have to go. I have to go see you in a small room, small room instead of seeing you in a big room and, and had, didn't have a chance to talk to, you know, to people like, uh, you know, small, small room with a small group. But I'm uh, very thankful to, uh, to be here. 
and to see you. And I don't know what I have to say, but I just uh, tell you something that I like to tell you because, you know, uh, Israel, as usual, without failure, he gave us a great uh, marketing plan. And Lynn, as a professional, and shared her uh, professional uh, knowledge, wisdom, uh, understanding about the difference between men and women. <laughs> I didn't know we have a 25% thicker than women. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought women's skin is thicker because they don't have a beard can, cannot come out. <laughs> well, anyway. thick, you, need, you need the beard to be rooted in something. So your skin's got to be thicker to have the beard stuck in there. Uh, Do you use Om, Jason? Yeah, I use it every day. I love yeah, it. I tell. love it. We can every tell. Morning, Every morning I put it on and I feel amazing. You know, I, I use my uh, absolute set with my wife uh, because I'm, like you said, I'm losing collagen, I guess. But anyway, <laughs> but anyway. Well, um, recently I was told to uh, give a speech about how to become a auto sales master. And what's the difference between atomy business and uh, regular business? from India. So I was preparing about, about that and I uh, figured something very interesting because, you know, most people are focusing on trying to become an oral sales master. Let me ask you this. Uh, raise your hand if you're trying to become an oral sales master. Yeah, I think most, mostly everybody, right? Uh, here's, a, uh, here's a mistake a lot of people are making when they're trying to become an oral sales master. The mistake they make is they just trying to become auto sales master. And you know what? The chance is they cannot become an auto sales master. And I want you to aim higher to become diamond master or even higher to become sharp nose master to become really uh, auto sales master. Why? Because if you just try to become an auto sales master, what you're focusing on is just to trying to tell people to use the product. But hey, if you're here spending your time, valuable time, instead of having valuable time with your fr uh, family members and uh, for your own purpose, you decide to be here because you are interested in doing Atom as your business to change, uh, hopefully to change your life, right? Just like mine. Then that means you, you have to be better than just sales masters, which means if you try to become a diamond master, you have to make an offer to your customers to do the business together, which means you have to become a partnership, business partnership. Business partnership is not like making a regular customer. Business partner is much more important because you know, think about it. If my sponsor didn't sponsor me, didn't sign me up 10 years ago, she wouldn't have, I don't know, maybe 200,000 members under me, right? You are the part of it. But because she did sign me up 10 years ago, she could have 200,000 customers came along, right? So would you trade one business partner with 100 customers? Or would you trade one business partner with 10,000 customers? You wouldn't trade one business, one really good business partner or even 100,000 people because that one very good business partner could bring hundreds of thousands of customers along. So, you know, making an offer to a business partner is very important. In order to make an offer to business to, to people to become business partner, you have to understand the benefit of doing this as a business, right? You have to understand that how to structure that you could go to the diamond master and shadow nose master and star master, even royal master, and even crown master and imperial master, right? You have to understand all the business, business um, steps or levers that you could climb up. But the people are making mistake is people making mistake is they just focus on sales masters without understanding, without 
even bothering understanding about the you know, higher levels. That's the mistake most people just try to become a, a auto sales master. You have to understand the, the business 100% and you should be able to make an offer people to become your business partner to do the business together, letting them know that you could be building a tremendous, immense a business, giving them uh, residual income. That's the uh, mistakes people are making. So uh, bottom line is aim high, aim high. You know, I often says, I often said, uh, you know, trying to stay in your comfort zone make you lose your leadership. Which means you have to become a leader to lure people as your business partner, right? We just had a wonderful uh, um, Zoom meeting with a crown master from Korea. He said, you know, we all know this already. He said, if you're trying to chase after the money, you cannot get the money. But if you become a leader, and attractive to people to want to be with you, then naturally people will come to you and naturally money will come to you. Naturally the mastership will come to you. But if you lose your leadership over the people, no one will follow you. And no matter how hard you chase after the money, you never can get the money from Atomy. So it's very important that you, uh, you, uh, uh, you grow your leadership. You know, to you know, to grow your leadership, you have to make a lots of lots of mistakes and make sure you get up. Make sure you, after you fail, I'm 100% sure that you will feel like to quit more than 100 times, even 1000 times. I guarantee you that you will want to quit. Oh, you know what? Forget it. I would just stay here where I am. I just, I just will be satisfied with what I have. I'm just make myself comfortable with what I have. You will feel like that more than hundred times, but make sure never ever stay in your comfort zone, which most leaders doesn't do. So that's why you have to go through the, a lot of trouble because you are out of your comfort zone. Because you are out of comfort zone, you are, tend to be making a lot of mistakes. And those mistakes will make you stronger and stronger. And those mistakes will make you shine as a leader when you become a successful. A successful person without any failure? Is that a possible thing? No. No. So, you know. Make your leadership. And what's the difference? And let me let me be really brief. What's the difference between atomic business and regular business? The most, most significant difference. What's the difference? Most business is just make a store on the street and waiting for people to come in. Right? They already know what they want, they buy and they leave. And you know, to attract more and more people, they tend to be bigger and bigger and bigger. You look at the Costco, Walmart, you know, BJ, they want to be bigger and more efficient as possible. So they are waiting for people. But Atomy is not a business waiting for people to come to you. Atomy is a business that you go to people. So if you think about the eight, eight uh, checklist, eight core checklist. You know, what is the number one thing that you have to do in the eight core? I, I wonder if you do a core checklist every day. Um, what you have to do is first thing you have to use the product with love. You have to love Atomy products. Uh, I wanna ask you, Joanne, are you drinking Atomy coffee with the Tim's mug? <laughs> I saw you, I saw the Tim's mug, right? I know you have the mug before you start with Atomy, but in, inside the team's mug, I hope you had an Atomy cup. Am I right? 
You are mute. I just asked Lynn, and I'm drinking something caffeinated. I'm trying pure, pure tea for the first time. <laughs> oh, okay. So I may yeah. be up half the night. Yeah, I just make sure it's not Tim's coffee anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they are our competitor. <laughs> you know, one day my partner asked me to have a, a, a meeting. She asked me for my counseling. So I, okay, I, we had a meeting, but she brought me a Dunkin' Donut. I didn't say anything, nothing, but inside me, oh my goodness. <laughs> you need, you, it's gonna take more longer than I thought she, you know, to become a successful. You know, you have to love Atom product absolutely. Try imagine a Mercedes Benz salesperson riding a Cadillac, right? And and second, uh, uh, so loving the product is including him or him. Raise your hand if you on him or him regular basis. Okay, most of people, uh, if you're not raising your hand, you're not uh, taking him or him, you know, think about it. You are on Mercedes, Mercedes salesperson, but you're not selling Mercedes, but you are just selling like a, a like a accessories only. Accessories only, not selling the car, but you are just selling accessories. Can you be rich? Right? If what is our signature product? Him or him? Him or him? Without talking about him or him, it's like you never trying to sell the car in a car sales as a car sales person. You're just trying to sell, hey, here's an exercise that you could put in your car. Because they it seems to be easier for them to talk to any people instead of telling people to buy a car, right? Same thing, our signature product is him or him. So you have to love our product, absolutely. Uh, just love at your product, okay? And second thing, what is the second thing from Airco Checklist? If you love the product, I love you know Lynn's uh, presentation today because people tend to know what's the background science, right? What's the science behind, right? Probably some people know want to know what's the philosophy of this product, right? They want to know about more about the product. Once you love someone, you know you want to know more about the person, right? If you love someone, right? Same same thing. Since you absolutely love our product, you want to know, right? So that's why you come to our meeting and learn from Lynn about, you know from a professional or somebody else uh, from each and every day, right? Or you could just share your experience, right? The more stories you have, the powerful weapons you, 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 you will equip. When you meet people, when you talk to people, the more stories will sell more products because story sells the product. And I want you to share your personal story so that everyone can share your story and everyone share their story, then everyone has everybody's story instead of just your story, because you cannot have everybody's story. You cannot have cancer. You cannot have all those kind of problem inside you and have your own story. But if you share your story, that will be awesome, right? And you could share that story to other people. Then you know more about the products. What's the third thing? If you absolutely love the product and if you have, once you know more about more the, about the science in behind, then probably you want to talk to people to use this product because oh my goodness, I, I gotta I gotta tell this lady, I gotta tell that girl about this product. Oh my God, uh, I'm gonna have to bring him on to that person who is is uh, uh, dealing with uh, some kind of disease or something, you know. Just trying to help them, you know. So make sure you make to make people to use the product and what's the fourth number four you if you have a customers what you have to do is you have to contact people contact i'm not asking you to uh present the marketing plan every day that's i think that'll be 
too much if you just start it. But what I want you to do is I want you to contact people. Just start, initiate the conversation. Not necessarily you have to go all the way to presenting the marketing plan. Just initiate the conversation every day. That's the point I want to make today. You know, the regular stores, they wait for people. And customer comes to you. But our business, you don't have the store. You just have a store virtually and you go to people. You go to people. You, this is not passive store, but it's active store. You know, across my house, across my house, there's a King's. You, do you have a King's in your town? It's a kind of a, a supermarket in my town. That's the biggest store in my town. You know, no matter how, how, how heavy snow they have, they, they clean whole parking lot. They make sure they open every day. Every day. I don't know how much the owner's making. Probably, probably, probably more than I make. Who knows? Because it's kind of fancy uh, store and expensive. I don't know. I have no idea. But they are making sure every single day they are opening their store. We had a severe heavy uh, a snowstorm two, two times already. They hired the contractor to clean the snow. And they made, they open without failure. But what about us? What about us? We are trying to become an imperial master, trying to earn more than $100,000 every single month. But are we opening our store every day? Right? That's the biggest difference. I'm not asking you to become like a, a supermodel. I'm not asking you to become like a genius. Think about, I think Lynn knows better than me how, to, how difficult to become a medical doctor. They have to study years and years. Even, even before they study medical subject, they have to be a smart person already, right? And probably they cannot be accepted to study medical stuff. But even after they accept it, they have to study every single day for many, many years without making any single dollar for many, many years. And after they graduate, they have a ton of debt that they have to pay back and they have to work so hard. And even after they make a lot of money, they don't get to spend the money because they have to keep making money. They don't have time. I'm not asking you to become like a medical doctor. I'm not asking you to speak like four or five languages. I'm not asking you to become like a superwoman, superman or wonder woman, anything like that, not special. But very, very simple. Initiate the conversation about Adam every single day. Not necessarily that you have to sell the product, not necessarily that you have to sign up the person, not necessarily that you have to go to pre present the marketing plan. If you start making conversations, sometimes it goes smoothly. Sometimes it doesn't go. They reject you. That's okay. That's okay. Because the world is like that. No one will accept you from the beginning. But you could start talking to people. Hey, excuse me. You know, my sponsor asked me, do you know add to me? And that's how everything started. You know, did you attend the uh, seminar when the star master from Canada, Rebecca Wang, came to our Zoom meeting? Do you know how she became an Atomy member? Someone asked for donation for $5 in, and in return, they gave her a oral care, one piece of oral care. That's how she was introduced to Adam. Now she's a Royal Leaders Club member who's earning $200,000 a month. I mean, a year, I'm sorry. <laughs> right? Still as a residual income, that's amazing. Better than doctors. But her story was amazing. One oral care for donation. That's how everything started. So without having to become a Superman or Wonder Woman or genius 
or beautiful, wonderful, handsome, talkative, but not talkative, that's okay. You don't have to become a special skilled person. Just be who you are, but make sure your store open every day. If you have any interest trying to become successful, that's number four. What is the number five then? If you keep contacting people, you will have your partners. You will, I guarantee you, you will be a sponsor someday who has a business partner. If you have a business partner, like I said, you have to, you have to become a leader. And leaders are readers. Make sure you read books every single day. That's number five, right? And you have to educate yourself. You have to transform yourself from you, who you are to someone who as a leader. You know, the Jason Shim that you're looking at is not the same person as Jason Shim 10 years ago or 11 years ago before you started at me. I was educated so much to become a leader from our Hangil Park, Chairman Hangil Park and Dr. Lee, you probably, you heard about him. He had a wonderful, wonderful uh, lectures in the Atomy website and you can find him from YouTube too, of course. Amazing, amazing stuff, right? Make sure you learn from him too, right? So that's why you have to watch POD every single day and you have to watch other people's story from of Atomy. So that, that's number six. Number seven is, Communication. Communication is like a blood circulation in your body. If you don't communicate with your sponsors and partners, that means you don't have a circulation inside your body, then you will be dead. Same thing, if you don't communicate with your sponsors and partners, your group will dead. What's number eight? Of course, you have to build the trust. You know, if you can't take people, some people will say no. I say, oh my goodness, Ken, can you, can you try this product? And Ken said, oh, Jason, I don't want to try it. There's a network marketing thing, multi-level marketing, which I hate. MLM stands for most lose money. I don't want, I don't ever want to be around MLM. So she said, no, thank you. Then I said, Ken, how can you say this stuff to me? You know, you're a mean woman. I'm not gonna talk to you anymore. You are not my friend. <laughs> Do you want to be like that? No. You sh that's when you have to start building the relate the the, the uh, what is it the building the trust until you have the real trust. If Jason say to try, then I want to try. That's the trust. But most people don't trust because you know. There's so many things going on in the world and no one can trust nobody. That's why we need to have a, a personal trust. Everything is being online. Even we are meeting through the screen. Look at us, I'm looking at you. If you don't turn on your uh, camera, I'm sorry, I cannot see you, but I'm watching you, right? Everything becomes digital, but especially these days, if you have a, everything becoming digital, we have to have a personal touch, trying to build a, a human humanity, trust. That's the most beautiful thing between the two, two person. If they can trust each other, they can do anything, anything. So, I'm sorry if you expected for me to speak only five minutes. I spoke <laughs> too much. <laughs> and uh, and I, I want to shut up now. So thank you for inviting me again. Wow. Thank wow. you so much. I could listen to you all night. I, I know. <laughs> I cannot talk all night. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, thank you so much, Royal Master, Mr. Jason Shim. Uh, wow, we are so privileged to hear uh, uh, all about the eight core from him. So, I, so much to, uh, to pick one, but um, yes, the eight core is uh, are the daily habits that we have to develop 
in order to build our Atomy business. So I learned about it during the Auto Sales Master class. And uh, that's when leaders emerge in my team. So just by doing that habits and uh, our team just uh, grew in numbers um, rapid, uh, very rapidly. So I encourage everyone uh, to create that eight core uh, daily habits uh, because it would really help you uh, jumpstart your Atomy uh, business if you really want uh, to, st to start one. So um, since he's already here, if you have any uh, questions in Bushok, are they allowed to? All right, let me that? introduce, okay. Uh, because you know, like a pandemic, he cannot meet our leader, like which is sales master or diamond masters. So I want to introduce, you know, like he hasn't seen any, you know, for the new diamond master and the sales master. Someone already been a sales master and diamond master. I'm not gonna introduce to him, but new to him, I'm gonna call. You just say hello, who you are to him. Okay, just introduce yourself for one minute. Okay, Khan Sang, diamond master. Can you introduce yourself to? Jason, Royal Master, please. Hi, Jason. This is Khan. I'm from Boston Global Center. I'm just a uh, uh, diamond master right now. Well, I'm trying to do uh, auto sale master, in which I got supported from my sponsor, also, and uh, is a real partner in Christina. So it's all my group, Monada, King, <laughs> like all my group here. So they are supporting me. So I um, can be. Um, become a diamond master. So thank you and nice to meet you, Jason. All right, thank you, Diamond Master Khan Sang. And then next is gonna be Kim Sang. Can you introduce yourself, Kim? Yeah, just say hi, who you are, just let him know. So you are on mute. Kim, you are on mute. Okay. Hi, my name is Kim Sang. I'm uh, from Boston Global Center. I'm a sales master. And nice to meet you, Jason Trim. All right. So, yeah, I just learned from you a little bit today. So, <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you, Kim. And the next and, is going to be, okay, you still, okay, go ahead. No, I'm all set. Okay, I don't know what I'm say. <laughs> All right, thank you, Kim. And then next is going to be Monita Vong. Can you say hi to him? Hi, Kim. Uh, hi, everybody. My name is Monita Vong. I'm from Boston Global Center. And uh, I'm a sale master. And I live in South Carolina. And nice to meeting you all. And, and thank you to my sponsor and my partner. All right, thank you, Monida. And then I saw the Haiti in a house. He, she's still here. Ha, if you are here, can you say hi? I think she was driving. Ah, uh, she was driving. Okay, so and then uh, we have a few in the soon to be sales semester and then soon to be some like a shuttle Hello, semester. Hi, I'm here with Sarah. <laughs> okay, Whoa. can you say hi, hi. to? Jason, Shim, Royal Master, please. Hi. Hi, Mr. Jason. I was driving, so I was listening to you the entire time. So I'm with Sarah right now. Okay, soon to be uh -huh. sailed. <laughs> yes, we are about to uh, take some classes with uh, our little girlfriend. So we're right here listening to you the entire time. <laughs> Where are you? I don't see you. Where are you? Hi. Wait, let me see. Let me look for him. He left, huh? Oh. Who? Oh. Mr. Jason? Oh, he's Mr. right here. Mr. Jason's right here. I'm here. I'm here. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was yeah. driving, but I tried to like have you see me, so I turned the light on a little bit, but I'm so scared that I turned it off. I turned off my lights in my car. Uh, <laughs> I, know you to be safe. I just got to my friend's house, so. Okay, thank you, Ha. Huh? And then she tried to open the San Diego Global Center, soon to be center. So she is uh, preparing for open there. So thank you, Ha huh? or Haiti. We, I call her Haiti, so, but most of people know you, Ha. Huh? So either, and then 
a lot of people right now work on it and uh, someone tried to be a sales master, auto sales master, especially a few over here, like a try to be auto sales master, which is I love to see them to reach that every single time. So I'm really proud of that. And uh, we are so lucky to have him today, get on the lecture, how lucky we are. Can you <laughs> be, give a big round of applause to him? Thank you, thank you for inviting me. Thank you so much. We always open for you. So every Wednesday, <laughs> we are having a BGC English Zoom meeting. So thank you again, Jason Shim, Royal Vesta. We follow you, whatever you step, you know, we just footstep, we just follow the step. Like, you know, he said, we're not just to go for the you know, sales master, we have to thinking about the diamond master or above. Then at least you can be a sales master. But if you only see the sales master, then you may not reach that. It's gonna be hard. But if you go for the diamond master, what? Charles master, Lynn, yeah. can you? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, why not? Right. <laughs> that mean to be? You don't have to go through a cell master. I know master. exactly. I think um, I just <laughs> skip over all of that. Super the sky. That's <laughs> right. Oh, okay. So I just want to give for you know like a a center news right now and then yeah, after another that. Another Sun TV stage master, Christina. I know. Yeah. Then I know few like uh, right now they are working on it for the Christina, <laughs> Sarah, and then the who else? Christina. Krishna, you want to say something to him? You uh, yeah. oh. <laughs> Hi, Jason. Um, I always attend your Canadian Zoom meeting every Thursday. I always learned a lot from the speakers there. And because only 500 can get, go in, I make sure I sign it at like 720. <laughs> <laughs> but it's still hard to get in. But yeah, I'm a special agent now. And, and I'm based here in Boston, Massachusetts. And yeah, very soon to be, I'm challenging a sales master with all the mentoring of my uh, sponsor, Usho, uh, David, my mentors, Khan, and uh, Easy. So yeah, a few days to go and we'll, we'll, we'll do it. It's overwhelming, <laughs> but yeah, go for it. The opportunity is there. All right, thank, thank you, Christina, you. and uh, um, maybe another uh, soon to be sales master. Mm -hmm. Sarah Le, you want to say hi to him, <laughs> who you are? Let him know. Hello, hello, Jason, Mr. Jason. Hi. How are you? Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> hello, everyone. It was great to see everybody tonight. As usual. All right, that's it. <laughs> I know you know, like also a... her first No, we both right we both in from San Diego and we both gonna become diamond cell master together. Yes. Okay, With so PK and also okay. And all right, let's go, let's go, let's go. And then I know all of you are in here this room. You could be in you know, a soon to be sales master, or well, you don't want to be a just sales master, you could be a challenge master like a Lynn. Yes. <laughs> we wow. Congratulations, Lynn. Awesome. <laughs> when it, like a, what in the Krishna says, soon to be Sharon I think it's something behind that they're meant to be behind something. <laughs> so we go for that. Okay. All right. So let's uh, talk about it. I'm going to show it for the in our center news. Uh, before right. you say, I, I want to just say uh, one more thing uh, those yes. for those people who are trying to become a sales master. Uh, uh, including Lin, <laughs> uh, you know, or don't be afraid to challenge it to become sales master. You know, um, it, the worst scenario that you have to do is like you have to spend ten thousand dollars. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> and then, don't be afraid to have a lot of products in your living room. <laughs> Bedroom, garage door, <laughs> everywhere. Don't be afraid because, you know, you have oh to understand God. this. There will be a lazy woman, but no ugly woman, right? That's what they say, right? In Atomy, there will be lazy person only, but none, not, uh, Instead of become, if you're not lazy in anatomy, you will be successful no matter what. So mm -hmm. even if you have a lot of products in your room, that will remind you 
that you have to talk to someone. And if you keep talking to someone, that's good. That's a good thing. So don't be afraid. Atomy will be selling if you keep opening your store. And with the $10,000 in worst case scenario, you will be opening a, a, a better than the king's market across my street. That's your business will, will be better. You know, they have to be working every single day. They have to make sure everything every day, but not in after me. When you become successful, you have money and time together. And you could do whatever you want to do. And soon you could be living as a missionary for poor people, giving your time, your money at the same time. You know, what a wonderful world would be if you can do that. And I, everything will be possible to add to me. I'm sorry to bother you, uh, interrupt you. <laughs> Thank you very much for that tips. All right, let's go for the, you know, the center news. All right, this is a, like a, we got, I, I can sh show you it's gonna be the end, almost the end. So we still do the, the BGC 15 days, the beauty project. So in like a 10 days, two days, 10 days, so five more, six more days, okay? So go for it, you're gonna get the present. And then if you upload your video, how you doing? I got the three person already sent it to me. So if you wanna have another, you know, like a present, then go for that. And then this is a, if you, we still have this one, Hydra Brightening Cream. If you buy two, you're gonna get the one more free. So go for uh -huh. that, yes. And then this is a, like a tomorrow, uh, next mm -hmm. week, Tuesday, uh, Royal Master Jason Shim on the group, we're gonna have a Spanish Zoom meeting, which is like a Marcela Gomez from the Mexico. She's gonna come for that. And then Thursday, which is uh, 18th, it's gonna be Chinese Zoom meeting and then move on and then this coming Saturday in Korean Auto Sedman School. And then this is like a update that estimate, estimate date, arrival date. So you check to your own website, you can see. And then what is that? In the enemy America, it's gonna be next Thursday, which is February 25th, 5 p.m. Western time and 8 p.m. Eastern time. And then so on for that schedule. And then this is for next week, we're gonna have a, like a, a marketing, I mean, I mean, message bonus. So please come back to see that, how you're gonna make a message bonus. And then Lynn's gonna bring down other products. I, I always like curious how, what she's gonna bring it up. Any, mm -hmm. in the, any product for us, what is that? Is, I always you know, like uh, emphasize what she's gonna bring. And then if we have a little time, we can share our, you know, that testimony. And then the last Wednesday is gonna be 24th. We're gonna have a vision speaker in our own room. So it's gonna be Myung Sheldon, Sharon Jumester. She's gonna talk about the whole vision of the enemy. So every month in our center, you know, members, they're gonna turn to do the you know that vision. So next month, someone already arranged. So if you wanna do that, you just let me know, okay? And then this is all I just tell you. The Korean auto sentiment score is on every Saturday at eight p.m. And then that's it for Center News. So back to the Christina, soon to be sales master. Let's go. <laughs> okay. So again. Uh, here in Atomy, we always start and end our meeting or event with our company motto. So, and as Ushuk said, um, you can stay after this and uh, we can share, ask questions, uh, anything about the business. Okay, are you ready? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, company motto, go! Cherish the spirit of the Asian vision, follow the faith, Thank you so much, everybody. If you may, if you want to leave, because I know that someone go to early bed, you may leave. If you can stay another like 10, 20 minutes, you may stay. So feel free, whatever you, whatever you decide, you can do it, okay? Because we have like a Royal Master Jason Shim in here in this room. Go. We don't want to go. <laughs> <laughs> let him go because at least oh, like 24 hours. So maybe another five minutes, please. Thank you, Royal Master Jason Shim. Yes, I come uh, Yeah, thank you. If you have, you know, like if you have anybody, 
One, one question to him. Just five minutes. Five minutes. <laughs> yes. Because uh, he has. Chef, I have a question. Yes. For, this is for my partners. So, some of our partners only like to do their right side of the leg. <laughs> <laughs> Can you please tell them why it's not good to only do right side of the leg? <laughs> Because I think you told you so, told them so. I think. Exactly. <laughs> you know, I think, you know, just like your uh, presentation, we usually tell them, hey, uh, you know, here is a leg going on already. You just have to start your right leg. That's how we uh, uh, tell people to be involved with us, right? But they believe strongly when even after they saw the video, oh, I just have to right side. I just have to right side. And when they focus on the right side, of course, it's going to be faster because you have more people than your sponsors. So later on, you find out that your left side is uh, weaker now. And then if you try to do your left side at that time, it could be too late to you know, start building again because um, I, I have seen so many, uh, so many occurrences like that, people. So if you're trying to go all the way, like a royal master, crown master, imperial master, you will be building two legs no matter what. You cannot count on your sponsor building your left leg forever. Because if you rely on someone else, that's not your business. And if you're not taking the initial, what is it, the, 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 the active and uh, what is it, initiative actions, Initiative. like, a, yep. yeah, like a, a ownership, that, you need that kind of thing. Otherwise, it might be easier for you now, but it'll slow down your business in the in later. So, you know, usually I tell people, you know, if you have a sponsor helping you all the time, and if you don't have any sponsor helping you all the time, which, who, who will be faster? The person who has sponsors helping them all the time or no one helping the person? Who will go faster? It doesn't matter how many sponsors they have. It doesn't matter how many you know, how no one's helping them, it's up to them. Even though they have so many sponsors, they have so many advices, if you don't do it, but even though you don't have any sponsors, nobody's helping you, if you have a willingness to do it, your success is in your heart already, your heart. Just like, you know, I love this. Jesus is, after he resurrected, he is lifted to the heaven, right? And said, I'll be always with you. I'll be always with you in your heart. Don't look around. The heaven is in you, inside you. Same thing. Your success is inside you. You just have to initiate it with ownership, you know? Okay. The ownership. I'll be doing this. I'm gonna do this. Left leg, right leg, doesn't matter. That's my business, my business. Not my sponsor's business, not my partner's business, my business. But no matter how we tell them good things about that you have to build two legs, sometimes they don't seem to be understanding until they <laughs> see, until they face the, the real situation that, oh, I have to build this leg too, until then. <laughs> And some people, you know, I'm telling you, some people will never understand, never understand. Even though they have a, like a, uh, their, their right leg is like a, a 10 times bigger than their left leg, they still building on trying to do only right side, blaming the sponsor not helping his left leg. And I numerous times told people like that, that you have to build, start building your left leg also because, you know, sponsors are satisfied because your right leg is strong, the sponsor is strong. But that's your business that you have to build your left leg too. But some people don't understand, you know, how come I was told to right leg only, 
how come I have to build my left leg? You know, I'm telling you now that you have to start building your left leg. Why you just choose to listen to whatever you want to listen to, right? That someone told you to build only right leg. He just stick on, he's sticking on that all the, all, all the way, many, many years. He never realized that he has to do two legs. Numerous, numerous times, believe me, probably a million times if I had exact, if I had to exaggerate a little bit, millions of times, but he still don't understand. So you can talk to them, but it's up to them. Right. But it's okay, it's okay. If they just, you know, I, I just hope for the best. That's it. We just do our best, and then I'm sorry, I don't have the good answer for you. <laughs> I think. No, that's, that's perfect answer. Thank you, James. That's good. It is. Uh, yeah. I always tell my partners, it's not about sixty dollars you're trying to earn. It's fifty thousand dollars a month you're exactly, trying to earn. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I just want to introduce to you. You know, uh, we have uh, like all over place in the United States. So I want to say, uh, Nurissa Michelle come from the Hawaii. Can you say hi to him? Oh, we have a Hawaii. <laughs> yes. Hawaiian. Yes. And Aloha. Oh my God. Can you say hi? Wait, I will unmute. Uh, okay. No. Oh, yeah, you unmute. Hi. Hi, Mr. Sheen. I'm so inspired by the way uh, you talk to us tonight. And we will keep that in our mind and we will move forward. Aja, aja, aja. Oh, aja, aja, aja. Thank you. <laughs> you know, I love to visit Hawaii, you know. Yeah, one day we all go. Okay, go see you. Yes. <laughs> okay, next person is going to be Jessica, the Latina from the Pennsylvania. Can you say hi? You are in mute. Hi there, Mr. Sheen. I'm Jessica. Hi. I'm here at uh, based in near close to Hershey, Pennsylvania. Uh, I'm so oh. glad. Yeah. So you're close to me. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we got the, the sweetest chocolate. <laughs> but I'm so inspired by your talk and um, I'm really, you know, dedicated to do my eight core now. Mm. <laughs> Thank yes, you. Yes, just do it every day. Yes. You know, we're not, you know, when, when I talk, told people to read every day, Mm -hmm. I also say just one minute or only one line, mm -hmm. only one line that'll do, but just do every single day. Mm -hmm. You don't yes. have to like read like so many like pages of pages of pages. <laughs> no, no need. Just one line or one minute. Contact every day, just do it every day. You know, the history is the continuous of the incidence of actions. Mm -hmm. If there's no action, nothing done. Even seven years later, no action, the seven it's years different. for nothing. But if yep. you have only one year, but had a, made a lot of, lot of action, then that's how you could compress your time, that you could achieve something that other people can achieve for three years in one year. Like doctors, they have to, like, a, oh, we have a lean here. Doctors, they have to study like almost 12 years, 12 years. But we could compress that time without trying to become a doctor in three years. Mm -hmm. I guarantee you, if you do this A core checklist every day for eight years, I mean, three years, three years. Just like think that you open billion dollar, billion dollar business. Billion dollar business, isn't it? If you make a hundred thousand dollars every single month for your lifetime for three generations, I should say, even if you open a billion dollar store, it's not easy because you have to main, you have to maintain so many things. But for three years only, <laughs> ACO <Three> checklist, years. <laughs> ACO checklist every day. Thank ACO, you. ACO, <laughs> then, ACO every day. Then, then you're not gonna be jealous even the doctors or even like big companies because mm. those people could be making a lot of money but not time at the same time. And peace in, in, in my mind. You know, every morning I have peace in my mind because 
I know my income is guaranteed. I know. Wow. That's I have peace in my mind. But those people cannot have peace in my, their mind because they have to worry so many things. Atom is made with all the things already done for us. I love the term that uh, Israel said, hey, you're playing your game with your smartphone. Are you making any money? <laughs> <laughs> the company made a free platform for you to start your own business. Everything is made it for you. Only thing that we have to do is just do a core checklist and have the humble mind that you want to serve people. Have the mind that you want to grow as a leader. That's everything. Uh, okay, sorry, thank I, you I, so I, much. You. I have to shut up my mouth again. <laughs> I keep I I keep talking and talking. I know you love us. That's why you know you kept you know Jason. gave us a lot of that. Okay, Jason, someone said you, will you call my boss and tell her why I'm late for work tomorrow morning? <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> okay, and uh, uh, even Jessica is a nurse too, right, Jessica? Oh, yes. All right, and the next person is gonna be North Dakota, Lee Hejong. Can you say hi to him because he haven't oh seen you who God. you are? Is, you that, know. is that the place uh, with the big faces? <laughs> oh no, that's South Dakota. Ah, I see. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Close oh, enough, hi, though. Hi, Mr. Uh, Jason Sim, uh, lawyer master. I'm very happy to see you today. And um, I'm always listening to your speech. It is so, uh, uh, you, uh, yeah, you gave us vision and encouragement and your speech is so humorous and rich. <laughs> so I like it. Thank you, uh, Jason Sim, lawyer master. Thank you, thank you. And then she's going to be soon to be sales master some sooner. Oh, right. Yeah. In All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then so our just... town is so small, and North Dakota, we don't have many Korean either. So, yeah, uh, I, I really, I'm, I'm, I'm blessed. I, got, I met Atomy. Thank you. All right. I see. Thank Do you. Do you have a lot of snow there? Right. Yes, oh, but I... not this year like Boston or New York, but we always snow, Why? You know, let yeah. me tell you something. <laughs> Boston is not a place for human. <laughs> <laughs> Why? But for what? For whom? I don't know how they live there. <laughs> so poor. <laughs> wow. With a lot of snow. I've lived in North Dakota and I lived in Boston. And oh. I, after living in North Dakota, I said I would never complain about a Boston winter again. <laughs> Compare that, okay. Oh, no, no, no. North Dakota is colder, right? Oh, yeah. 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 No, today, yeah. like, oh uh, today, like uh, uh, below 10 and uh, Celsius uh, minus 26. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> I, don't, I don't wanna live there. Oh, my. Come to Hawaii. Come to Hawaii. Okay, we yeah, want to go there. To go Hawaii, please. We all pack it up and go there, Hawaii. Okay, no. Hawaii. All right. Thank you, so, you come to San Diego. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, yeah. Yihe Jong. And then I'm gonna call in a Christian who lives in Canada. Oh, Canada. Canada, Christian. Can you say hi to him? Um. She's Chris busy. She's working. Chrishell is working. She's in the Philippines. Oh, she's in Philippines. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. Someone's in Canada, right? Her sisters are both working. Uh, two Canada sisters. They're nurses. Okay, okay. They're oh, okay, okay. Tonight. What yeah. about Jerry? Where, where he live? Jerry, where are you? Can you mm -hmm. say hi to him? Jerry's from Philippines, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I'm a uh, younger brother of Christina. I'm oh. in Michigan right now. Are you, are in, you Michigan? in Michigan? I'm sorry. I, I yeah. misunderstood. So I'm part of uh, Boston Global Center too. Did you and say you're a younger brother of uh, Christina? Younger brother, yeah. Oh, I, I'm just, I just look oh. older though. <laughs> I, no, no, it's okay. That's a, uh, you know, you know what, Jerry? That's yeah. a big benefit. Yes. <laughs> we have a lot of room that you could make yourself better. Yeah. <laughs> room, so room, your, your mission. Let's your mission will be, <laughs> yeah. Your mission will be look younger than Christina now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. nice to oh. see you, uh, Sir Jason. <laughs> Gary, this so proves what, what Lynn said tonight. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So, what part of Michigan? <laughs> All in one. 
I'm, I'm sorry, what's that? What, what part of Michigan are you living? Uh, I am in the greater Detroit area. I'm in Sterling Heights. Uh, Detroit. Mm. Oh, Detroit area. Oh, I see. Sterling Heights. All right, Jerry, nice to meet you from the, the Michigan. Thank you. Thank Thank you. you. And then, what about the Herald? Where do you live, Herald? Can you mute, unmute and say hi to him? You're oh, I'm from the Philippines. Are you in the Philippines? Yeah, ah, I see. Hi, you don't have to turn off your video, though. Oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for your message. It's very challenging and inspiring. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you for coming. Thank you. Uh, looking more forward to more to learn more from you and to all the masters. Sure, sure, of course, of course, yes. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. I'll all try. right, thank you, thank you very much, Herald from the Philippines, and then welcome. Chang Yijong Sajangim, can you say hi to him? I know you are in Boston. <laughs> all right, can you unmute? Yeah, unmute. Yeah. Unmute. Okay. Hello, everybody. Hi, uh, I am uh, Chang Hee Jong. What? Nice to meet you. What? Nice. I just did uh, a uh, couple uh, weeks ago. Mm -hmm. So from now on, I think uh, I need a lot of help from you guys. Okay. Thank you. And uh, nice to see you guys. I'm from uh, Boston Global Center. Center. <laughs> Thank you. Global Center. Thank you. Thank what you very nice much. Name. Yeah, okay. Chang Hee Jung. Nice yes. Thank you so much, you know, Hee Jung Jung. And then. Samida. Kam Samida. Kam Samida. You say you say <laughs> Korean too. Yeah. And, uh, Am I missing anybody? Jan, Julie, I know the Mon, Julie. Mon, Monida from, Monida uh, from no, Monida, uh, spoke already, I'm sorry. Yeah, South Carolina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she's and, uh, uh, Tren? Tren? Tren. Tren. Oh, Quen. She's working. Quen, Quen. Right Quen. Yeah, I know Hi. you are working, so I don't want to bother you. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, don't make lives... a mistake. <laughs> I know she lives in San Diego too. Uh, I see. You know, I like to uh, uh, I like to live in San Diego too. I visited San Diego like uh, two or three times. Very nice weather, and I mm -hmm. just saw a documentary about San Diego. So many good places to visit. So many museums, yeah. Yeah. nice places. You I, are. You know, I envy. I'm jealous yeah. with jealous to uh, Israel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Okay, thank you. And then I want to ask one more person to say hi to him because we haven't seen him in a long time. Yeonji Sajangim, can you unmute and say hi to him? <laughs> Han Sanim? Uh huh. Yeonji Sajmestero, please say hi to him. I saw you. I saw you. Uh huh. Okay. If you if you have uh, some area for not to speak, it's okay. So I think okay. most of us to you know like introduce to you. So thank you so much, Jason Shim, Royal Master. Yeah, we gotta good give to him see you guys. Good one more big round of applause. Thank you. Hope to see you again. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much.